Peaceful and unspoiled, the remote village of Lodsworth, nestling in the West Sussex countryside between Midhurst and Petworth, an area of outstanding natural beauty. Perhaps even the gentle inspiration for one of its more famous residents, Ernest Shepherd, illustrator of Winnie the Pooh and the Wind in the Willows, and certainly the inspiration for a group of villagers who got together and came up with an idea, a big idea. Before David Cameron became Prime Minister, nobody had ever heard the phrase Big Society, least of all the people of Lodsworth. They may not have had the name, but they certainly had the idea. Without knowing it, they were actually launching a Big Society project well over a year ago. It's now complete, it's very successful in this village, it's the village shop, and it's called the Lodsworth Larder. For more than 20 years, there'd been no village shop and no post office. So, with help from West Sussex County Council and others, including the National Lottery, the Lodsworth Larder project was started, although this was to be no ordinary village shop. It was built by woodsman Ben Law, well known to viewers of Channel 4's Grand Designs programme. Ben, who lives in Lodsworth, used traditional historic building techniques, where the main supports of the building are shaped like the letter A. He led a team of apprentices and used local trees for the project. And every cedar, oak and elm that went into the Lodsworth larder was then replaced. The timber frame is quite traditional, there's plenty of timber frames, but the interesting thing here is we're doing it in the round. And using round wood, um, round wood is much stronger than sawn wood because you haven't actually cut through the fibres. Plus um, it's sweet chestnut, which is a coppice timber, grows in the parish here. So it's the ideal timber to use for this type of building. 35 volunteers and two part-time managers run this shop, which stocks a thousand different lines, many of them locally sourced products. Prices are kept down because unlike most shops, this one doesn't have to make a profit. Oh, thoroughly enjoy it. I come in on a regular basis so that they know that that bit is my sort of three and a half hours for the week. And sometimes I come in on other times if I'm available and they need some extra help because obviously some people aren't always here because they're doing other things. Launch a community shop and you soon find that in fact there's a lot more you can do for your community. They have royal mail services available and free access to the internet, not to mention prescriptions and a dry cleaning pickup point. The residents, well, they love their community shop. We've all just got together. It's just it's one village, and in fairness, we are all amateurs. None of us have ever run a shop before. Uh, we've been learning as as we go along. Uh, we've got two great part-time managers who are absolutely superb at keeping stock control, learning and, and and using the computer. But this is the great thing about this shop. We can teach people, older people, the younger people, how to use computers, how to use the touch tool, tilt screen, and after a few months of or trial and error, they absolutely love working here. We're literally five minutes down the road and I can pop down and um, get milk and sandwiches for lunch and various other bits and pieces that we need. If you didn't have this shop, what would it mean? Well, we'd have to go to Midhurst or Hazelmere, I suppose, to do the shopping, to get all the various little bits and pieces. And plus they also do collect post and things like that and do registered mail, which otherwise, you know, you would have to go to Midhurst or Hazelmere for. In fact, the Lodsworth Larder hasn't missed a trick when it comes to sustainability either. As well as saving 27,000 driving miles to the nearest town for shopping, they've produced more than 1,700 kilowatts of electricity from their own photovoltaic panels, and they've saved around a tonne of CO2. Even the toilet is eco-friendly and saves water. Press the flush and the tap above starts. The water for washing your hands is then used to fill the cistern. How clever is that? Now the efforts of the villagers have been recognised. They've won a top community empowerment award presented at a special West Sussex County Council ceremony. But big society projects aren't all about winning awards. They're simply about communities getting together to start a project which is right for them. And here's where the County Council can help you. Like the people of Lodsworth, you know best what your community needs. You're the experts. But the County Council can help you with expert advice and guidance through any red tape. If you're thinking about starting any kind of project, however small, just send an email to this address. It may be only one small step, but it could be the first step to starting your own big society project. 
and helping your community.